hello welcome back to my channel i want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers so far and my would-be subscribers i really appreciate your support today we're going to be making chin chin a west african snack the ingredients are as follows five cups of all-purpose flour half a teaspoon of salt one and a half teaspoon of nutmeg three quarters cup of sugar one teaspoon of baking powder sorry one and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder and we have half a cup of butter or eight tablespoons if you're measuring in tablespoons we have two eggs two large eggs and one and a half cup of milk so I'll mix the dry ingredients and then add the butter so now I'm adding the butter and I will just rub it in with my fingertips until it looks like fine breadcrumbs then I'm going to add the wet ingredients to that so here I'm just mixing yeah so for this recipe you don't need any spoon or, make, or a mixer you just use your, your hands so I've added the two eggs and I'll start with one cup of milk and add the other half as needed so just mix it, you just mix it until it forms a nice firm dough. It doesn't have to be sticky or too strong. You just see how it looks. So yeah, as you can see, the dough is still a little bit dry. So I'm going to add my other half a cup of milk. So the dough comes together. Yeah, I've just added a half a cup of milk. So in total, it's one and a half cup of milk. So keep mixing until you have a firm dough that doesn't stick to your bowl, not to your hands. So after that, you just uh, put it on a clean countertop or you know, if you want to use your wooden board, you put it on your wooden board or countertop and then knead it, knead the dough until it all comes together you see I've added a little bit of flour so it's not sticking to the countertop so yeah it's really versatile you can always adjust it like if the if after add, mixing it you feel that it's still a little bit sticky you can always add uh, a little bit more flour so it's not sticking to your hands not to the countertop not to your knife when you're trying to cut it or to the rolling pin so I'm going to cut the chin chin two, two different ways. Uh, the first method I'll cut it like we used to do back home. Especially in my childhood we used to just roll it out on the rolling board, the cutting board. So you roll it until it's thin, not too thin, not too thick. I would say about half an inch thick. Because if it's too thin it might burn easily and if it's too thick you might not the inside might not cook very well so you just see the size or the thinness that I'll roll there so yeah when you're rolling you can still add some flour on the countertop so it doesn't stick so the dough is not sticking as you can see it was trying to stick a bit so I added a little bit more flour on the countertop so for this first method, method, I'm just going to use my knife and cut the dough into strips and after that I'll cut it into little squares. That's the original way to make chin chin. Nowadays we have found a, an easier way to do it using the pasta machine which is the next method I'm going to use. So I'll show you both methods. Yeah, here I decided to use a longer knife because that one was shorter. The longer one will make it easier to just cut it uh, across at once. So now I'm just cutting it into little squares. They might not be perfect or uniform, but yeah, just square shapes. This is 
the point where you can involve your kids like if they like to help in the kitchen this is a really fun thing for kids to do i remember how we used to do it uh, especially around the christmas season we used to help our mom i know our, almost all families i would say all families in cameroon used to make changing during christmas time so now for the next method i'm just getting the dough ready ready to cut in my pasta machine i'm just rolling it into like oval shapes or just long shapes so when i flatten it in the machine it's in a good shape for me to just cut into long strips you can also make it into balls but i've noticed that when you make it into balls the strips are a little too long according to me so i just make it in those shapes so i just do that with the rest of the dough and then flatten and cut it on my pasta machine before i start frying it so you can always involve your kids in this stage So the pasta machine has two sides, a flattening side and a cutting side. So here I have a little helper, she's trying to help me. <laughs> she's trying to help me with the cutting. They love doing this a lot. So I flatten on one side and cut on the other side. with the rest of the dough and then we'll get to frying it so now I've cut the rest of the dough into strips as you can see and sometimes they kind of uh, like to cut into two so I just separate them yeah, so here I'm trying to make a, a style that we used to make in our childhood. We just like make a hole, like I take one of the square ones I cut earlier, make a hole in the middle and then kind of um, fold it in. I don't know how to explain it, yeah, just fold it into the hole and it gives you that cute little shape. Yeah, so the dough is all cut and now we are ready to fry. So I already heated up some oil, it's supposed to be deep frying so I just heated up I would say about um, half a liter of oil, you just do it in a pot, a pot that is deep because it's supposed to be deep frying and then make sure the oil is hot enough, not too hot such that the, the chin chin will start burning without getting ready in the inside but um, also not too cold such that the dough is absorbing the oil and makes it, making the changing greasy so yeah i just put it in in small batches and fry if you overcrowd the pot the changing is going to crumble and it's going to get soggy or too oily and you will not like it so i put a little bit at a time and fry until it's golden brown so at this stage it's not quite brown yeah, now you can see it's gotten to that nice golden brown stitch. So I'm taking, I'll just take it out. And I've prepared a pan with uh, paper towels that will absorb the excess oil. Yeah, so I'm just taking it out and putting it on the paper towel. So I'll do that with the rest of the dough. I started with the square ones that I cut earlier. And now I'm going to fry the longer ones, the strips. And when you're putting the dough in the oil, just be careful because it's very hot. You don't want to burn your hand. And make sure there are no kids around the oil. So at this stage, when you put it in, don't start stirring right away because it might break. You wait for a little bit so it uh, kind of firms up before you start stirring. So now I'm going to stir and wait until it turns a light golden brown or golden brown like the other one so yeah it's all done it's nice and golden brown so I'm just taking it out of the oil and 
and make sure you use a slotted spoon so the oil the excess oil comes off so the chin chin is not too oily wow look at that beautiful brown golden brown color it looks so good can't wait to try it yeah so our chin chin is all done i've left it to cool down a bit before i try it i'm just gonna try some mm, so delicious that's so good so yeah get in the kitchen and make yourself some chin chin you see it's very easy and it's always rewarding when you make it yourself thank you so much for watching my video Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate your support.